And here's a true story of inspiration and giving back. After a devastating accident that sent a two-year-old to Riley Hospital in Indianapolis two years ago, a local family now wants to give back. And the family is with me here on set, the Boozaliches, <laughs> Misty, Brock, and Brody. Brody, how old are you now? Four! <laughs> four years old! Well, two years ago, you guys, something happened to you that really changed the way, you know, you live, really, mm -hmm. and, and now it has motivated you to give back to Riley Hospital. Tell me what happened. It was a, a lawnmower accident. Yes, uh, Brody and I were in the backyard. He was playing. I was cutting the grass, and um, he, uh, he ran up behind me. I uh, wasn't paying attention at the time, and uh, he got between me and the lawnmower. And still makes I, you emotional. Yes. Um, <laughs> it basically injured his foot. Yes, it severed uh, four of his toes, the front quarter part of his foot. So uh, we immediately, uh, I uh, took my shirt off, wrapped his foot, picked him up, and yelled for Misty. And she knew immediately something, you know, was wrong. You call 911. Mm -hmm. They end up eventually sending you to Riley Hospital. Yeah. Yes. You were so impressed with the staff there at Riley. Yeah. Uh, they weren't able to reattach his foot, but they right. were able to work miracles. Yeah. Yeah. We were there for about a week and a half, and I mean, it's just amazing. They're so reassuring. The nurses, the doctors, you know, at such a difficult time, mm -hmm. they make it, try to make it as easy as they can for you, and it's, it's a happy place. There's a lot of kids going through all kinds of struggles. And it's, it's incredible. I mean, it's a, we're so lucky to have a place so close. Now, two years after this accident, you have come up with a way where you're trying to raise money so you can give it to Riley Hospital. Yeah. Um, you've had friends and family donate stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All kinds of stuff, yeah. And you're yeah. selling it at a garage mm -hmm. sale this next weekend. Yes. Um, first of all, where, where's the garage sale taking place? Um, we live at 56 910 um, Wild Heather Drive. It's in South Bend. And the sale will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so the 25th through the 27th from 8 to 5, and it'll be at our house. They have friends helping and... And I understand the kids are selling mm. donuts. We're going to be selling, yeah, yep. 30 a couple <laughs> days. We're going to do apple cider and some donuts. Are you excited, Brody? <laughs> <laughs> How much yeah. do you hope to raise, and, and what do you hope that you're able to do with it? I mean, I have I have a goal of a thousand dollars. We'll see what we can do. Um, we're gonna, like I said, the donuts, everything that people have um, gave us. We're gonna have a jar. Um, so hopefully, it'll be good weather, and yeah. we'll have a good turnout. And just give it all back to Riley. Good luck to you guys. Again, that's Thursday, Friday, and uh -huh. Saturday. And we'll put their address up on my Facebook page in WSPT.com so people can check it out there. Great. Great. Good luck. Thank Excited. you guys for coming in this morning and telling your story. Well, thank, thank you. you. And good luck, yeah. Brody. <laughs> <Okay>, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.